Welcome back to the CF Nevada YouTube channel. My name is Josh. This is my truck. We made a log trailer and uh, we got a few things to put on it today. So let's get to that. And also we got some new hats. Let me know down in the comments if you uh, like the CF Nevada hat here. Uh, we did just order a couple to uh, see how they looked, but uh, I'm liking them. So let me know what you guys think. So let's get to the uh, goodies that we got well, for the truck. After doing all this work on the log bunks and tape and paint and all that, uh, I looked at this box here and I was gonna cut it off completely. The lid for it, and it's kind of rusting out in the bottom, so it wasn't really worth having on there anymore. Well, I measured it out, and lo and behold, I found a box that fits the size. So, look what showed up. We got a new box to put on the truck here, or actually on the trailer. Uh, and then, now that we finally got some snow on the mountains, I had to throw some darn chains in the truck and I didn't have any bags to put them in. So I found these uh, Fastec tool bags that actually will fit, and we'll put those on the truck here in a little bit, but it'll actually fit inside my little box here on the truck. So it's only like eight inches deep, and uh, I think those tool bags are like seven. So should be able to fit the chains in there just fine and throw them back in there. And the reason why I got the bags is so that chains wouldn't rattle or roll around inside there and then eventually go over the lock so then you can't open the dang box because the latch inside is free so if the chains hit it it makes it really hard to open it up or you can't open it at all um, so I'm gonna put them in the bags prevent that from happening but then also I can just grab the bags throw them out there and uh, start laying out the chains to put on the truck which I don't want to do so hopefully they just stay in the bags all season and i can get around weather events uh, but we'll go ahead and get this box open and uh gotta get some tools to take off on both the other box and hopefully we can get this on the trailer today So while I wait for the paint to dry before we drop that toolbox back in there, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my chains out and put them in the bags. So I should be able to fit two, I hope, into the bags. At least that's my idea. Try to make it as easy as possible if I gotta pull them out. Not have them all knotted up. Now, if I gotta pull these out, I don't really want to be messing with it very long on the side of the road. So, the thought process is if I have them in these bags and 
you place them in here by just kind of stacking them on top of each other, you should be able to pull one out and then the other one and uh, not have a problem with getting it out. But now that I measured the bags and situated all that in there, I think I need two more of these bags. Um, Cause then I can just keep them all individual and then keep my tensioner inside there with it. And then I'll have to worry about trying to keep them all separated. So I think I'm gonna order two more of these. They were like 15 bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks, something like that on Amazon. But it's nice to have it like this. We'll take you over there. So now that I got this in here, I should be able to just put my bag chains right there. And there's enough room to where I can stack the second one on top of it. And then it keeps my latch clear from the chain. So when I go to close it, lock it, I don't have to worry about the chains falling over on each other there. So, yep, I need to order two more. And then I'll just keep all the chains in their own individual bag. And uh, that'll be a lot cleaner, and we'll uh, not have to worry about having them all tangled up. So I got the chains back in the bags. I ordered two more, so that'll all sit in there nice and clean. But I thought that I could fit two chains in one bag. But I guess my optimism of trying to shove it in there um, didn't work out. So I at least got two of them in there and I'll get two more bags and then that'll clean up this compartment and then and I'll have to worry about the latch getting stuck with the chain going behind it and uh, we'll be able to keep it nice and clean so that's where we'll leave that for now and uh, now we can put the box back in the slots over here so my paint's dry and I can put this box in there all right so just need to get the drill drill some holes through the bottom and then we could put a couple of nuts and bolts through it to tie it down and uh, should be good to go from there just had to trim off a little bit on this angle iron here because it was uh, off uh, whether Looks like this got bent before. Um, it just wasn't right. Let's see here. We can pull this forward a little bit. That fit in there a little better. Maybe I'll do it out the back. I think I'll do it out the back. So it has holes already drilled in the front here, but on this box, it's kind of narrow. So I think I'm gonna drill through the holes, or drill the holes through the back um, angle iron, cause that's a lot bigger too. And then I'll just put in one, two, three, four, maybe like six or eight of those through it and uh, we'll be good. But that looks a lot better than that box. So much cleaner. Now I'll have the room to uh, throw some straps and some chain binders and things through here and i can leave it with this trailer um i do have something else i'm possibly getting for the truck later this afternoon uh is a headache rack cab rack um there's one that popped up on uh good old craigslist that was a real decent price and uh, the only bummer is, is to put this on there gonna have to adjust a few things um, my airlines and this toolbox I'm kind of sad I don't want to lose this but I think I might have to take off my toolbox um, but the Protec does have a toolbox that goes in between their racks that does look pretty nice and they have a, a polished out rack with the toolbox and 
and then I can put the chain holders and stuff on it. That'll probably be good. It's just kind of a bummer to lose that rack. Um, and then I think I'm also going to lose these lights here because um, then the rack will be in front of it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to move some things around uh, to make it work. Um, but at least, you know, I'll have a rack because then when I uh, go to put logs and things on this trailer, I'll feel a little better. So, but toolbox is in. We'll uh, go ahead and get some nuts and bolts and drill some holes. I put a few holes in, get some nuts and bolts in there. Should be good to go. There she is. Got the toolbox on. And looks good. Uh, I had to adjust the, the latch in here. And now it turns and locks tight. Uh, got the key on my key ring already so I can lock it if I need to. And boom. We got a new uh, box on there. So much better than that rusted out cruddy one. Um, and this box was a little bit bigger um height wise and well i don't know the other box had no lid on it but uh it was just a little bit just a little bit bigger so uh i can put some more straps and some chain binders and things in there um just for this trailer so i don't have to uh carry extra stuff on the truck but we did go pick something else up craigslist find so we got a nice new to us Boom, headache rack for the truck. So since we're gonna be putting some logs on here, I figured it's probably time that we get a headache rack for the truck. Cab rack, headache rack, whatever you wanna call it. Um, Pick this up, it was on Craigslist. And uh, I mean, things in great shape. The only thing that I need to do really, I'm gonna drop this off at the polisher and uh, get them to shine it all up. Um, so take that over to my buddy's shop and have them Take care of that for me because i just don't have time to pull out the polisher and do it but just need to get some more uh the brackets the guy only had one um so i gotta get a couple more of those and get this thing polished up now the bummer is to get it to fit on the truck we're gonna have to probably lose our toolbox uh, i don't know where i can really put it um it's just it's a four foot wide box and 12 foot deep and it's 18 inches tall so it's not gonna fit with the cab rack on there and the way that the angle is and everything i can't just put it right on top of it in front of it so it like kind of kick it out here in the middle and i just don't like the look of that um, i'm gonna have to move my air and electrical line forward a little bit and uh, we do have a couple inches here with the deck plate but now my thought is possibly remove the deck plate and go to an in-frame toolbox with the deck plate on top of that so you can stand on the box but then it also opens up and acts as a toolbox um, so that I'm not losing space because I just want somewhere to put my chain binders and then on the headache rack we can put the tray in there for the chains um, I we just don't have a whole lot of room with this truck it's a pretty short wheelbase so I mean with the fuel tanks there there's no room to put anything else we got a little bit of a storage area here with the uh, DPF filter right behind it so that kind of takes up a lot of room but yeah I don't know um, at least for now we have a new toolbox on the trailer as to where we can throw whatever we need for this trailer in there and then I just want to keep my main binders and chains that I'm using regularly um, between the step deck and the low boy and then um i was uh reaching out to my buddy to see if he's got some more steel to see if i can make a couple more chain boxes on the trailer over there so i can put all our half inch stuff inside the uh, low boy because that's really the only time i'll ever use it it's with that trailer um but back to the uh cab rack here um so my thoughts are possibly to get a chain box um or the chain tray that goes all the way across 
and then maybe add in the uh, chain racks up here. Um, but then I see a lot of people put the um, mud flaps and rubber on here, and I just don't, I don't think that looks too good. I know you don't want it rattling and banging on here, so it's like, hey, just stick them in the chain tray. I don't know yet. I, I'm kind of particular about how I like things to look, and uh, I'm just not sure um, what I want to do back here. Main reason for this is just to protect from logs sliding forward or when they're loading um, the trailer that we don't bump the cab as they swing around. Even though there's plenty of room from the truck to the trailer, but you know, better to be safe than sorry. So I'd rather not mess up my cab. Um, so another thing that I got working on here is the uh, snow chains for the trailer. And uh, like I said, I like things to look a certain way. So I decided I'm gonna pull these out and I'm gonna paint them because they're hanging under the trailer and they just don't look good hanging under the trailer. And until I can get the rest of the tra trailer frame cleaned off and painted, um, at least I can pop these off real quick and paint those. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And uh, and hopefully, waiting on the snow and icy conditions on the road, on the mountain right now to melt off and maybe just maybe we'll be able to get up there and haul some logs here soon All right, we got the uh, chains all painted up. They're hanging nicely. I also added in a little clip in here because there was a chain already hanging on there for locking them in so they don't get bounced out. Or I guess maybe put a lock on there so you don't have someone steal them. Um, but I think the orange chains look a lot better than some rusty, um, dirty looking chains on there. So that's why I painted them. There's no plans to really try to use them um but we're required by law to carry them on the truck or trailer um when we go up the mountain uh during the winter time so uh but most of the loggers up there get to pick and choose when they're gonna work and not really doing it when it's snowing so i'm not gonna be uh choosing any days to go up there when it's snowing either so i like to not have to put chains on um next project is uh hopefully get to this rack next uh week We'll get it back from them, uh, my buddy after they polish it and we'll fiddle with the figuring out how to get it on the truck. The uh, box is done. We got it loaded up. We got our straps and chains and some binders in there. So that's all ready to go. And I also had to run to the store and pick up some more uh, rubber, um, what they call them? The bungees. So that uh, I can tighten up the chains. The uh, ones I ordered online were incorrect size. So that's going to do it for today. Hopefully on this next next video or two, uh, I'll be able to get out and show you guys some logging with this truck. So stay tuned and please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more truck action. And thank you again for watching and following along. I'll catch you guys on the next one.